students welcome to meso study today we are going to discuss about a very important electron displacement effect that is known as the inductive effect so basically this particular effect is a permanent one it is always in the molecule and in this video we are going to discuss certain key points about it and how to go about how to perform the questions related to it obviously it is a very very important concept from your competitive point of view because many of the mcqs arise from this topic or maybe some of the mechanism are involved which involve this particular concept right so let us discuss that first thing it is also known as the transmission effect induction means inductive right that means there is some sort of driving force which is inducing the charge within the within the molecule inducing the polarity within the molecule right and that is why the transmission of electrons occur right okay so why and how this induction is occurring within the molecule is the point so basically it is of two types right yeah i'll be discussing this particular point also that it decreases with the distance but in just a while so it is of two types let us discuss its types first so the types are first one is the plus i effect now i am talking about the entire carbon chain if i talk about the entire carbon chain and i am just attaching a little substituent right here named x x can be anything now if i assume that this x is electron releasing group erg means electron releasing group right so this is electron releasing group and if i attach an electron releasing group here right here that means it will tend to donate the electron density towards the carbon making it slightly delta negative right and itself becoming delta positive got it now this carbon being more in electron density obviously due to the electron negativity difference this carbon and this carbon will both be having slightly different electron negativities right now now it will again tend to donate its electron density it will again acquire little negative charge but not so much it will be less than this particular carbon okay now further it, it will transfer this charge to the third carbon right so basically what is happening is it is transferring the electrons to this carbon then further the electron density is transferred and further it is transferred so that is how the induction is occurring induction means the charge is getting induced the polarity is getting induced and it is transmitted the electron density is transmitted throughout the chain fine so this was a particular molecule and it is always permanent effect because obviously it's a kind of say alkyl halide and yes due to the a uh, presence of this kind of a substituent within it this effect is always there thirdly it decreases with the distance as i told you so basically what happens is the first carbon will be very high in electron density obviously and what do you think about this last carbon will it be more in electron density or less than this obviously less than this because this is nearest to this particular donating group right that is why it is having a lot of electron density so up till third carbon this particular inductive effect exist but not beyond that it will be very negligible beyond that so that is how it decreases with the distance fine if i would have attached this x group not on this carbon but this carbon let's say right so it would have transferred equal amounts to this carbon and equal amounts to this carbon that is how you know according to the distance you can go fine okay so this is what the plus i effect is where the electron releasing group your donating group is there right now there are certain examples of the groups which act as the donating ones right so what do you see over here is the tertiary butyl now first the concept is of alkyl right i'm just giving you a brief about it that why i have considered these methyls or alkyls as the donating groups because of their hybridization which is sp3 hybridized sp3 means s character is how much 
25% and that is why its electron negativity will be very least and that is why it is more of donating right. So, these alkyl groups lie in the category of donating groups. So, here this carbon will be highly charged highly negatively charged why because of the three alkyl groups attached to it and thereby it will be a very good donating group and then isopropyl ethyl methyl now deuterium and hydrogen deuterium being bigger in size then the hydrogen will be capable of donating in more right so that is how the plus i effect goes about i hope everybody is clear obviously if you want to refer you know go into the detail of this particular mechanism and uh, try out so many questions about it you can refer to my lectures for that i have given you a very very detailed description of it is the minus i effect which involves the electron withdrawing group right now this electron withdrawing group is that means which attracts electron density right electron withdrawing group and in a similar manner if i take up the example of these three carbons and x attached to it now x being the electron withdrawing group it will withdraw the electron density towards itself being the delta negative now it will become delta positive if i again consider this carbon to be higher in electron density than this carbon so what will happen it will tend to donate its electrons being delta positive and delta positive obviously and that is how the induction of charge occurs right so that is how the minus i effect occurs and certain groups which x can take are no2 right no2 being very very highly electro negative because of three groups which are very high in electronegativity cyanide again c triple bond n if you want to go into the detail i have explained this in my lectures you can refer to that c double oh again carbonyl group wherein the carbon being slightly delta positive in nature will be attractive right and all of these halogens and finally hydrogen right hydrogen or you can say h positive fine so that is how the entire thing goes about fine so these were two of the effects which i wanted to discuss today and which hold a great importance in your mcq questions because many of the a lot of mcq questions arise from such topics right so just practice this practice as many examples as you can right have a nice day